Good morning, everyone. Welcome to your reading for January 21st, 2022. Please show me what everyone needs to know here or see. Thank you. I hope you're all doing wonderful today. I hope you're warm. It's so cold here today. All right. Hmm. Message from Spirit. Is the Seven of Wands in the reverse? So that feels like um, a breather. It feels like you're taking a rest. It feels like someone has um, stood down. Someone has, um, someone's feeling vulnerable or someone is trying to feel vulnerable. Someone's trying not to be defensive. This is definitely someone dropping their guard. So it feels like maybe someone was defensive and now they're more receptive. Death in the reverse is in inspiration. Yeah, someone's given up on something because it's not working. Unsuccessful, death in the reverse, limbo. It could be someone's regrouping as well, um, trying to figure out their next move. But someone really doesn't know what to do right now and is letting something sit unfinished or, like I said, giving up on something. Strength, fears, and feelings. You have six of wands in the upright. So that is victory. That is pushing forward. That is getting attention. That's being right. Um, I just heard that phrase in my head be, um, you can be happy or you can be right. And I feel like someone is very unhappily right <laughs> or something like that. Um, someone is right. Someone is, um, mm, the word just came in my head and flew out just as fast. Someone also went up a level. It's like someone is right, someone is, um, and this is this is in their in their feeling, and I'm, I'm, it's like, it's not up for a debate. The subject is over. Something is put aside, moving forward. Someone has um, brought attention to something, or someone has decided something. Someone feels very very. Um, convicted so that can mean a few different things but but someone feels very very um, like they're on their path they're not discussing it it's not up for debate some something is not up for debate the subject is over and moving on moving somewhere moving forward into the future six of cups in the reverse <clears throat> excuse me um, someone's also tackling bad memories, um, could be of childhood or anything from your past. There are children. Um, it, it's also feeling like someone is going after. Um, it could be children that they, they have lost contact with. And someone's trying to get their attention or they're trying to... They're going in the direction of the future and it has something to do with kids and it has something to do with um, bad memories or I, I don't want to say the word missing, but that's what keeps popping in my head. Something that somebody gave up on is going to reappear in the future, but it's something connected to your past and it's something that's going to make you feel very successful, like, um, like something is finally done. Something that you might have given up on is coming back. Two of coins in the upright enclosure. So that's an unstable situation that you're trying to balance. You're trying to make a decision. You're trying to... What do I do? What do I do? How do I do this? Someone's trying to make a leap into the future here. I just heard quantum leap. I did. I just heard quantum leap. Um, so 
putting down your weapons. Um, wow, my words, they, they keep popping into my head and then they disappear before I can even say them. Um, let me try and get that back. It's a surrender. This is a surrender. Um, I feel like there are two... There are two concepts going on in someone's head here. Which way do I go? There's letting something die. There's letting... Um, it's like victory when you let something go. But there's also something... Sorry, guys. I'm having a really hard time getting this out. Um, bringing attention to something. It's almost feeling like a resurrection. Like bringing something dead back to life. Something to do with an unsettling past. Um, being out of alignment. This is making... A choice which one do I do which way do I go somebody went down the wrong path and oh 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 this is also saying to me to um, it's like attention attention you're about to go down the wrong path like leave this alone there's there's a choice that you that you're going to be given or you're being given um, it's not the right path. It's not the right path. Wow. Okay. That felt like it went all over the place. So the five of swords in the upright in the near future. Conflict, battle, winning a battle. Um, there are some... Ooh. There's, there's a conflict about who to leave behind and who to bring forward into your future. So it, it feels like it's talking about someone that's going to give you an option, give you a choice, and they could be from your past. You could have bad memories of this person, um, and it, it's telling me that it will go nowhere. Like, don't touch it. Leave it alone. It'll go nowhere. It'll literally, um, it'll take you off of your divine path it's it's um someone wants to disarm you someone wants to yeah it, it's like a oh what's the word for that um like someone wants to be alluring or somebody wants to like i keep i keep seeing the snake and um the serpent in adam and eve there's a serpent that's going to um, give you a choice. And it's something to do with your future. And it could mean, or they could be saying, you can rest, or something's going to be easier, but it's not going to. The, this I, I'm really feeling trickster. You're going to end up in, in an internal conflict and I feel like this reading is the Six of Wands. Like someone saying, so it's bringing your attention to this so that you're wary. Wow. The Emperor in the reverse is at the base of this. So that's a very, <clears throat> oh, immature, childish, tyrant, um, immature father energy, immature boss energy. They're at the base of this. There's, there's also something to do with choices that you have made moving forward into your future um, that are leaving this person high and dry. That's if you make this right choice. If you make, it's probably this person bringing you this choice, this um, corrupt leader or um, 
someone who doesn't take responsibility for their actions. And I feel like you have chosen to let this situation die because you can see the future, you can see the conflict, you can see the, this person, they feel defeated. I feel like you feel like if you made the choice to um, team up with this person romantically or otherwise, um, it would be taking you off your path. And so you're, you're being guided here to not touch something because you've caught someone's attention here somebody has true leadership abilities here and someone's trying to take you off of your path they're trying to give you another choice to take you off of your path the king of coins in the upright so again that's a boss that's um someone with a lot of money someone that's in control of a lot of people but this feels very corrupt here it does it feels very very corrupt you could be dealing with um, an Aries or you could be dealing with an earth sign this is a masculine energy um, could be a father energy as well two kids two of coins somebody was choosing oh yuck I just heard uh, Sophie Sophie's choice I just heard Sophie's choice. I don't know what that means, but I don't like it. So this guy is feeling like he's giving you a choice. And your message from spirit so far is saying, leave it alone. The Three of Pentacles in the upright, in the outcome. So that feels like divine plans. For some of you, you have a divine purpose and you're staying on that path. And this person is trying to they could be trying to lure you with money, um, trying to tempt you. That's the word I was trying to think of before. They're trying to tempt you to get off of this path here that you are on. That I can't really see anything about your path right now. I just see that someone's trying to get you off of it. Like they want, they want, you're, you're guided here by what you call God. Something divine, something beautiful. You actually have the antidote to something with that bottle with the green liquid, which is the color of the heart chakra. Seven of Wands in the reverse in your heart shot in your heart space is also saying you're you're the opposite of defensive. Like this would be guarding your heart space. This is saying you're, you're very, very open. You're also very contemplative. Like you weigh things out. Inspiration, death in the reverse. I feel like somebody doesn't like making the final judgment about something and this person knows it. So it's almost like they're they're trying to, I just heard um, devil on your shoulder. Like this is like the devil on the shoulder and this is also the devil on the shoulder and they're, they're saying, this won't work, this won't work. It's like you're not quite, um, someone needs to believe in themselves more because someone's kind of like a, a magnet here. It's like you have all of this strength and all of this attention and all of this drive. And I also feel like it's because of something that you don't want to work. There's something bigger than you. This is enlightenment as well. There's something bigger than you that you're going after. Something to do with an 
unhappy past or a new tomorrow. Um, this is also a father that abandoned children. Um, caused a lot of sadness in some young lives, for sure. Um, they might be trying to absolve themselves with money. They might be trying to create some balance here. They might be trying, oh, they might have given up the fight. Maybe they were touched by something divine as well. Because there's this antidote here that I keep seeing. It's it's like it's um it's disarming someone. It's disarming someone. And someone is feeling defeated. But like I was saying before, there's something that you're fighting against in the future, and it has something to do with a choice that you're making, and someone might be trying to pull you off your choice or pull you off your path. You have the hermit in the upright. Okay, so yeah, the hermit is holding this light up to this future. The hermit goes in a cave. The hermit is quiet. The hermit is wise. There's something about this hermit. This hermit has the six of wands beside it. Um, this is definitely a, um, a very wise energy looking towards the future. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, but they're also very forceful. Very, very forceful. Secret, but getting attention. Someone might be trying to find this hermit energy as well. But I was going to say this hermit has this emperor in the reverse disabled. They have them disabled. It's like they're holding them in place. They can't move forward. I'm feeling like this and this could be the same energy. Somebody could have fallen off the wagon in some way here. This is keeping a secret as well. And this is bad memories. They're coming to this hermit. Ooh, I don't know. All right, bottom of the deck, you have the Six of Swords in the reverse. Speaking up. Whoa, that's a, that's, um, someone speaking with a lot of conviction or, um, yeah, attention, conflict, and protest all in a row and I feel like there's someone trying to stop this protest from happening and they want to give you another choice they want to give you a choice for your future they want to get you to stop this protest or stop whatever it is that you're doing they're trying to defeat you. They're trying to put you in limbo. They're trying to disarm you. So your advice is to hide. Your advice is to investigate this king of coins' past, even. Something, this is unhappy memories, but it's also the future. Something that somebody fell off, they fell off the pedestal here, investigating something. I, I keep thinking accident here with the emperor in the reverse. I keep seeing a wheelchair. Um, bringing attention to a secret, something they don't like about the past, and it, it could be some kind of accident. Um, Or a big payout. Someone giving directions, going the wrong way. So your advice is to investigate. Your advice is to 
not say anything. Did I shuffle this? Bottom of the deck is the marriage card or a contract card or the high priest. Message from Spirit. Seven of Swords in the upright. Deceptive, hopeful. Someone hiding their feelings. Someone's making a decision. Someone is di disarmed and hopeful. And they're making a choice. And it could be that King of Coins. And it could be about the future. They might want to work on things, but you do have death in the reverse and seven of wands in the reverse. So yeah, um, somebody can't move on with the six of swords in the reverse. Someone is feeling very defeated, but it's saying don't touch it. It's saying investigate. <clears throat> And there you have it. You have the world in the upright on death in the reverse. So, so yeah, so I feel like somebody doesn't want something to die, but your advice is to let it go. This person could be a liar. They could be a cheater. Um, they are not in alignment with you. I feel like they have a lot of work that they need to do here. They need to reconcile a lot of memories a, some kind of bad memories and it kind of feels like when something is slipping away it brings things to their attention and it makes them feel defeated and broken and they could be trying to buy themselves out of something as well because they don't want to face these bad memories and they could be trying to buy their future they could be trying to buy you um, so yeah, so your message is to definitely don't reveal much about yourself here because I feel like someone is really wanting to have a discussion. They want to get in your heart. They want to get in your heart, but they have death in the reverse beside it and that's lethargy and limbo and stagnation. So it's, it's really telling me that you need to close this cycle out with the world in the upright because somebody doesn't want to. It's like they want to keep feeding off you in some spiritual way. They can't move on. And when someone can't move on, it's because they haven't learned to be alone within themselves yet. So they need to, they need this. They, this is their advice, the hermit. They need to go in the cave. They need to grow. They need to think, they need to forgive themselves, they need to accept themselves. Um, yeah, somebody might have a very empty heart here. It's like they have no patience. And this person might have used um, maybe poor choices, like habitual things. It could have been any kind of vice which could even be like, um, like I'm feeling like a love addict, like a relationship, what is, what is that called? Like a serial dater, like someone that's always got a couple on the go. They don't know about each other. Um, but this person is feeling very empty. They're hiding their feelings and they do. They, they want to somehow combine forces with you, but this will leave you defeated um, and it will not bring you peace. The world in the upright is saying you need to close this out. Close it out. Completion. No hard feelings. Um, seven of cups in the upright on the six of wands in the upright. So, yeah, so someone could be getting a lot of attention and have a lot of options. And it's feeling very energetic and open-hearted and very... Someone learned a lot here in this hermit mode. Um, yeah, I feel like you're kind of feeling 
energetic, open-hearted, um, very dreamy. There could even be travel here to get out of a stagnant situation. Um, you found the solution here. Um, there's something to do with finding a solution and it's about staying busy, keeping your mind busy. Um, and it's also deep thinking while you're having fun or while you're doing something physical or working or challenging even. Like, oh, okay, that's what this person needs to do, this, this emperor or this king of coins. That's what they need to do. They need to, they need to get in their own... It's like someone finding their superpowers. Like, I feel like you are doing it or you have been doing it. You've kind of mastered it. And this person is, um, you're looking very attractive because you're so, you're kind of on fire and soft at the same time. You're very approachable. You're easy to work with. Um, you're very hopeful. And you might not say a whole lot. But someone is really admiring you and somebody might want um, this chance with you and I just saw the devil card um, I feel like this person they don't know how to be like this they don't know how to be strong and soft at the same time you're teaching this person something this person is learning something from you okay moving along I'm taking way too long yeah, you have the Magician in the Upright on Six of Cups in the Reverse. Wow, I just heard Cher. If I could turn back time. This King of Coins wishes he could turn back time. I just wanted to cry for a second there. Um, this person, it, it's called Melancholy, actually. And this person could be feeling mentally sick. Um, this person is having a very hard time facing themselves. and um, But I feel like they're doing it. They're doing it. They're starting to reflect here. They're starting to um, disarm themselves. They could be making better choices here. Or trying to, anyway. So you have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, so that is karma. Um, that is also... Well, there's still luck there because the card is there, but it's not as good as if it was in the upright. And they could be facing some kind of loss. They could be making a decision regarding facing some kind of loss or I just lost it again. Oh, oh, the other thing. Um, I was painting over the weekend and so I had YouTube playing all of these. Um, what is that called again? Inquisition. I was watching all these shows about the Inquisition while I was painting and um, there was an image that they kept showing in one of the documentaries of a torture wheel. And it reminded me so much of this card. It looks exactly the same. It was almost the identical image. And, and I thought, oh, that's interesting that this tool for torture looks like the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. And so now, and I knew that the first time I saw this, Hard, that I would think about it and I am and so this person is feeling tortured at the choices that they made and they're they're probably not saying anything but they are feeling it they are they are feeling it here somebody's feeling de very depressed here I think they know that they can't restart something but they still are struggling with moving on for sure. They feel defeated, conflicted, can't move on. Um, but someone might say something here and it, it feels, it could be something about a fight or this person fights because they don't know how to communicate. Ten of coins in the upright with the three of coins in the upright. Wow. So that's a lot of money. That's like a, um, a business partnership or a large corporation. Um, OK, 
Okay, so someone wants you back or a business wants you back. The outcome is longevity, working together, financial abundance, a whole new cycle. I feel like that's for you. And I feel like this person is, well, they're losing out because they're losing out because of their choices. They did something shady or they might not have supported you or they might not have um, protected you in some way. They, they might have allowed you to suffer. They might have allowed you to suffer and now they're really regretting it and they want to speak up or they want to say something. But you're in a whole new cycle and you're getting some kind of attention. And like I said, you're like you're manifesting whatever you want. And there could also be some kind of magic to do with the future as well. This is some doing something intentionally. And but it could be something to do with money for some kind of torture somebody put you through. You have the fool in the upright on five of swords in the upright. So yeah, I, I really feel like this person feels like a fool. Um, somebody does not want the new beginning that they're in. They don't, they can't move on. They're feeling defeated. They want to run back to the past, but they're in a new beginning. They're in a whole, whole new world. Someone might be in a new world and they don't speak the language or in a new country and they don't speak the language. Um, <laughs> somebody could be using sign language or telepathy. So this could be someone in... Um, in a higher place here, but this is solid ground. You've reached a new level. You're on some kind of so solid, I was gonna say silent ground. Silent ground. Silent ground, but this is speaking up. This is something new. You could feel foolish about something in your gut, some kind of, um, somebody saying, Wait a minute, I know this is silly, but we've got to go and look back at something. Looking back at something. Magician and father, big boss. Um, this is something to do with rewriting history and confusion and deception. And we were open targets. I don't know what that means. All right, let's keep going. I'm just flowing. Truth comes out. Ace of Swords in the upright. Okay, so okay, so you've got this defeated emperor here, upside down. He could be speaking up about this intentional deception, confusing everybody. Um, wow, that could be taking away our choices. This could be for money, or it could be for some kind of spiritual, spiritual, um, overreach, deceptive, grabbing the hearts of people, making them lethargic, taking them to a new world, and people saying, I made a mistake, speaking out, oh my, whoa, okay, um, where are we? <sighs> temperance in the reverse. I think that's temperance. Sorry, prudence. Prudence in the reverse. I don't remember what that word means in French. Discourse. Discourse. It might be soft. No, it's not softness. Oh, I feel like I need to know. Hold on, where's my book? Hopefully I wrote 
wrote it down. What number is that? Speech. Speech. Okay. This king of coins. This is also judgment by the people. Um, and there's something about that snake being on the ceiling. And there's something about someone speaking the truth about an accident or something in the past. Something that was intentional. Somebody has been um, digging something up. Yeah, and this is some kind of defeat, some kind of conflict, speaking up, and this fool is going back to the past. The public is finding out about a leader, um, something about his past, some kind of bad choices, something he tried to keep secret. Okay. So he's going to say something. He's going to say something. I feel like this is also a gift. Somebody's giving a gift. Somebody is trying to help you, but I'm also feeling like it's everybody. This is all of the people. And it could be all of the people working together here as well. Okay, what did I just put down? I just put a card down somewhere. Oh, here it is. Um, eight of coins in the reverse. False flattery. Not working, something not working. That spell or whatever somebody was intentionally trying to do, it didn't work because there's an investigator here. All right, and then in the bottom of the deck, you have the Knight of Wands in the reverse. Ooh, okay, so that's like a real brutal kind of energy. Someone that is very aggressive, someone that, someone had words, someone had a fight. Six of swords in the reverse. Someone couldn't get over something. Someone is feeling very jealous or somebody. Um, I kind of feel like it's this king of coins. Is being judged here for something. I feel like this is a politician or a leader in some way that is um, getting exposed for something that they did to someone in some kind of altercation, some kind of fight, um, something intentional, something when they were younger. Um, they could have been paying somebody off as well, or someone's going to get paid off. They're going to get a big, huge settlement for something that this leader did in their past intentionally to a child or injured someone or got in a fight with someone someone was very very foolish there is no way out there's no way out for someone all right let's just take a quick look at this again so your message from spirit deception hope, brilliance, someone's plan is backfiring here, yeah, they have no defense, someone has no defense for something that they've been keeping a secret, a very bad choice, some kind of negative karma is visiting this person, and I feel like it is this leader. Yeah, this person is a leader that makes a lot of money. Okay, so yeah, so they have no defense for something that they've been keeping a secret, this bad choice, right? That's something that's caught up to them. Their, yeah, their, um, their inspiration is to keep it a secret. But they have the world in the upright, so it's, it's coming out, like everybody, World Wide Web. They can't stop something from hitting the World Wide Web right here.
this could be the whole virus. Someone speaking out. This element, this leader guy has no defense, is completely defeated, um, looks like a fool. Someone's speaking out. People are mad. People are mad and speaking out and acting the fool. This could be like, um, I don't want to say it because I don't want to put things out there that um, unrest, let's just say unrest all over the world. Um, attention, options. This is this is slaves being freed right here. Successful and free. Investigation. Um, these are both brilliance. Um, somebody doesn't look as smart as they are. Somebody hides away, but they're actually brilliant here. Um, and it, it could be someone that is disabled. Somebody could be disabled and in their reclusion, is that a word? Um, in, in their, or is it repose? Anyway, in their cave, this person is figuring things out. And someone's also trying to create something for the future. Someone's trying to create, is hopeful and trying to create better choices for the future, not these torturous. How long am I going on for? I can't see. All right. So your advice. Stay anonymous. This is also false flattery. False flattery. So don't reveal yourself. And yeah, there's a firehouse behind this hermit. Someone who is very connected spiritually. Um, I'm very, very... I just keep seeing disabled here. Disabled and brilliant. Disabled and a researcher and finding a solution. So it's almost like you need to don't show your cards just yet. You know the truth. This is a lot of people becoming en enlightened as well. This is something somebody's hoping for people to open their hearts and to get out of this conflicting fog. Um, it's like there are different elements competing for our attention so that they can get our imagination. So that they can guide our future without us really even knowing it, but it's not a good future. Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. But this guy's gonna speak out because there's all of this public opposition. Someone's looking at the books as well. Definitely looking back. This fool is, um, it's a new beginning. A new world, a whole new world. I'm also seeing that as the little guy the little guy is winning the new world somehow. Um, and Six of Swords in the reverse, speaking up, someone not being able to move on and being really mad, really, really mad. So there's there's some kind of, um, like I was saying before, there's, there's some kind of unrest there. This could be like police, this could be protesters, um, this could be soldiers. This could also be soldiers and police officers speaking out. Okay, well, that would be cool. That would be very, very cool. All right, I love you guys. I'm going to stop it there because I feel like I could just go for like another hour. All right, love you. Bye.